Thank you all for being here tonight. I know that there are baseball games and presidential races, yet we feel very strongly that this is an important race right here in Sheridan because it impacts our families, our homes, and there's nothing more important than that in our community. And what, is, what helps us keep those families and those homes vital? It's jobs. And so I think the two most important issues we face in this campaign are economic development, saving jobs, and preserving our quality of life. And I don't see those as two different things. I see those as two sides of the same coin. Because without the right quality of life, you will not attract or grow the right kind of businesses. Sheridan has for too long been a low wage, low opportunity community. For too long, our common lament was that we exported our youth. But today, we're seeing some hopeful signs that that has been changing. I'm proud of the efforts that I and the City Council, of which Steve has been a part, and we have some City Council members here tonight, and City staff, and many members of this community have done over the most recent past to make Sheridan an even better place. Many of these things did not exist just a few short years ago. Let's start with economic development. The private sector, and small business in particular, is the great job engine of growth in our economy. And yet City Hall plays a role. First, our infrastructure. We have to repair our rusty sewer lines, we, rusty water lines, our broken sewer lines. We have to fix our streets. And a great piece of news, the last dirt street in Sheridan has been paved. It wasn't so long ago that people said, isn't it a shame? that we still have dirt streets in Sheridan. We fixed that. Second for economic development, City Hall's role, a can-do attitude. City Hall must help and not hinder private sector job creation. Third, City Hall must be efficient and streamline its processes so that those who want to build businesses can do so. And finally, City Hall must be proactive, working with the community with Forward Sheridan and creating an uh, public-private partnerships to help funding that's available from Cheyenne flow to our community. Vacutech located here, they tell me that's the second time a company has relocated lock, stock, and barrel to another state, uh, to Wyoming, from an anti-job state. That's big. They have hired 40 local people. North Main revitalization, parks, paths, open space, creek restoration, recycling, quiet zone, third Thursday. There are so many great things that have happened recently in Sheridan, and I'd like the opportunity to continue to promote and work with the community on those. All right. Well, thank you. It's with great pride I'm here with my wife, Carrie. Last time I was here, I forgot to mention her, and I really felt bad about that, so I'll mention her twice. But anyway, running for Sheridan, Mayor, I've had the pleasure to attend both Republican and Democrat gatherings, as well as many other community events, and found one underlying theme shared by many in this community. We all love it. We all love our community. What makes it so special is not with what's made with brick or mortar, but it's those relationships we share and how we treat each other. I am a registered Republican but realize to be an effective mayor, one must connect with all Sheridan citizens, no matter what political party, age group, income bracket, or if or not you were born here. A leader can only lead when he is willing to serve first. I will serve Sheridan not only by listening, but by using an open mind to hear what the citizens are actually saying. I want to bring trust to City Hall that can be done by showing respect, treating people fairly, and conducting city business with a high level of transparency. I bring over 30 years experience working in state government. I'm experienced in government hiring, retention, and discipline. I'm experienced in managing large budgets, workloads, and assuring community demands are met. I am familiar with governmental contracts, bid requests, bid lettings, regulations, and procedures. I have served on the Downtown Sheridan Association, Travel and Tourism Board, Employee Relation Committee, Saws Water Board, Firefighter Negotiation Committee. I also sat on the Buy Local Committee, along with serving on City Council in Sheridan for four years. 
I will be an effective leader. I can and I will represent you, the hardworking citizens. I have worked in Sheridan and raised a family here alongside many of you for over 40 years. I know what it's like to live in Sheridan. I know what it's like to buy a house here in Sheridan. But before I close, I want to add this. I have financed my own campaign without accepting any contributions from any out-of-state donors. Out-of-state donors who have no invested interest in this community. As a councilman, I have not used my elected position, used any public service announcement, used any public programming, or participated in any local event that may have given the appearance of promoting my candidacy. As your next mayor, I will operate City Hall with this same high integrity, fairness, and openness. Thank you.